Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about lists. So before we even put it on a mobile app, let's talk about how to just get a list to show up in a console app. And then after that, we can just seamlessly apply it into our Xamarin Forms application. Okay. So, let's uh, let's get this started. So a very basic list, my list. And then we're going to have that equal a new list. And the list is going to hold a bunch of strings. That's the data type the list is going to hold. And then let's talk about what's going inside of our list. All right, so um, we're going to have, um, I don't know, let's, let's do just item one item two and item three. Okay, so now we have our list. Now the list isn't gonna show because we haven't told the computer to show our list. So um, we're just going to tell it to show it then. So we're gonna do console.write line, okay? And now if we try doing this, my list, now we want it to show our list, so this should work in theory, right? We're not getting any errors, everything's good, right? Well, let's give it a shot. We'll see what happens. So it did, it showed our list, but it just said, hey, you have a list here. Thanks for letting me know. So what we gotta do is we have to tap into the list and show each item. So now how we do that is um, we do a loop. So we're gonna say for each item in my list, we want to show, we're gonna say console.write line each, we're going to show each item. So console dot right line item. See, so right now we have for each item, and this is a variable representing each item. And since um, it's representing each item, it has to be the same data type. And we're declaring it right here as well. So string item in my list. So for all the items um, in my list, we are going to, or for each item in my list, we're going to display the item that it's traversing through. So let's set a breakpoint and we're going to see this in action. Okay. All right, so my breakpoint hit. Let's see what's going on, on the screen. Absolutely nothing. So let's hover my item. Aha, see now it's representing item one. See in the for loop it caught item one. Now it now it's getting ready to show it on the screen. So let's go ahead and play it through. See it now, it hit again, but let's check the screen, see what happened. Oh my goodness. All right. So it's going through each item and showing it. That's how the for loop works, or the for each loop in this case, and it shows, oh my gosh. Wow, that's, that's beautiful. Okay, so now we know how a list works and how to display the contents of the list. We'll go. We'll do it. We'll do it incrementally. So this vi this video and the next video will be showing just a very basic list. Then we'll start implementing classes and uh, properties as well. And so it'll be more of a a real uh, real world scenario. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and uh, click like and subscribe if you don't mind. And um, if you have a comment or a question, go ahead and shoot me that down below. Thanks.